Hello world, Rick Nappy here and welcome to the Nappy Report. Today's topic, overcoming the fear. Meet me on the other side. Hi everybody, Rick Nappy here and welcome to the Nappy Report. And you know, this is 2022 and we're rocking and rolling. So, you know, I just, I just wanted to, I want to talk to you. Can I talk to you? Can we communicate? <laughs> because boy, oh boy, are they making it hard for us to communicate? You know, my understanding was that these are social media platforms, social, we're supposed to be social, we're supposed to exchange thoughts and ideas and the way we talk and the things we feel about. And does it matter if you're talking to Aunt Lily or Uncle Bob about what you feel about? It shouldn't because you're talking to your friends or people that are like-minded or things like that. But it just seems like social media has not become what they promised us. It's not a sharing exchange anymore. It's a, it's a place where every single word that you utter is on an algorithm. And boy, if you choose the wrong word or part of a word or something that's even close to the word, well, then you're going to get censored. And in some cases, put in jail. And in some cases, permanently banned. I just find it to be very counterproductive to what a platform says that they're trying to do. And it really doesn't matter which platform it is because they're all doing it. So we know that in 2022, it's going to get pretty heated. I mean, it's going to make 2020 look like a, like a walk in the park, to be honest with you, because there's a lot of desperation going around and a lot of agendas that want to be pushed. My agenda is to try to get you as healthy as possible and keep you as healthy as possible. But that's problematic also because what can you say health-wise or medically that's not going to be censored? I mean, this really basically is a test. Are they going to censor what I'm saying right now, even though I'm not talking about anything specific? I'm talking about you and your health. I'm talking to people that are subscribed to my channels, people that are like-minded, and uh, <clears throat> that seems to be a problem. <laughs> so listen... But here's the bottom line. It's up to all of us to pull ourselves up and out of this fear syndrome. The fear of what? You know, I used to talk about this a lot even before any of this stuff started to happen. I mean, years and years ago, that many people spend their entire lives living in the fear of death. And this, all this other stuff didn't even exist back then, but they're living in the fear of death and they spend most of their life not living it, but actually trying to elongate it. And by doing that, they're not focused on the now, on the present, on actually living life, which is going to keep you healthier, by the way, and make you happier. But a lot of people are in such fear, you know, because I really don't believe it's our death that we're fearing. In most cases, most people fear how they're going to die. Is it going to be a car accident? Is it going to be a, is it going to be cancer? Is it going to be painful? Is it going to be quick? You know, who knows? None of us know. And we're not supposed to know. That's the beauty of life. You see, our creator gave us life and wanted us to live this life and to be productive in this life. Productivity does not necessarily mean that we're gonna spend our entire lives trying to stay alive. We're like a big lighter. We get so many clicks and that's it, deal with it. That's the reality. But now, in the past two years, I've seen this preponderance of fear like I've never seen before in my life. Listen, for most of you that are healthy, you're all fine. And look, we all get a cold, we all get a flu, We're, you know, from what Fauci says and from what the CDC says and what even Biden says is that we're all going to get the Omicron virus. 
which is highly infective, but it's not deadly in most cases. So the reality there is you've got to come out of the fear. I'm going to tell you what, if you want to fear something, the next time you go to the supermarket, look at those empty shelves. Look at those skyrocketing prices. When you go to a gas station, look at the, the skyrocketing prices. After this this cold snip com, comes into the Northeast and the Midwest and all those other places, and even down in Florida, you tell me <clears throat> how you're feeling about the prices. Do you fear the prices to heat your homes now? You see, there's a lot of the things to be fearful of that you can't control, right? There's a lot of things to be fearful of that you cannot control, like those rising prices, like limited supplies, like all this other stuff. And mostly our democracy. Fear losing that, because if you lose that, those shelves will be even emptier, the prices will be even higher, and you'll have even more limitations, not just on the food you eat, not on how you can travel, not in the gas you put in your car, not in how you heat your home, but how you, as a citizen of the United States of America, can move around or not move around. Think about that. Those are greater things to fear than fearing some abstract illness that you might get. Because it seems as if everyone's forgotten that we, as human beings, become susceptible to what's called opportunistic diseases. And opportunistic diseases wait for you to become fearful. And they wait for you to dumb down your immune system through all that fear. And they paralyze you. you know, you're paralyzing yourselves internally and your organs. And you're so stressed out. And you're not sleeping. And you're not eating right. And you're not doing the things that you should do normally to stay healthy. So you're not helping your immune system. You're actually helping these opportunistic diseases that might want to come in and invade you. And it doesn't, and I'm not talking about the, the present topic that everybody on TV is talking about. By the way, sometimes I'm going to be talking a little weird, a little strange, a little between the lines, because you got to be really careful of what you say. And it's really important for me to get this information out to you because God knows you need it because you are on your own. There's no one coming here to save us. We're all going to have to save ourselves. And some prudence and some solid science evidence and some real common sense need to come into play here. Stop being so fearful. That is a, a, a grooming technique that's being used. It's not real. Those fears that they're purporting, purporting on you are not real. Perpetrating, I'm sorry. <laughs> purporting, perpetrating, porting, tomato, tomato, I don't know. But listen, so I'm going to do my best to give you as much health information as I can. Not on one topic, but on you your body, your immune system, your biosystem. I want to make sure that I can give as much information as I can to keep you healthy, to get you even healthier. But remember, if you don't come out of the fear syndrome, and by this point, there should be nothing left for you to fear. I mean, let's face it, for two years, we've been feared out. We are so feared out, there should, everything should just roll off your back by now. You should just Look at the realities. Look at the realities. The bottom line is, and this comes right from the CDC. That's right, from Walensky herself, the director of the CDC. 75% of those recorded deaths from, from that virus were by people that had four or more comorbidities. Four or more comorbidities. Do you understand that? So listen, you've got a real good shot at being healthy and being healthier this year and coming out of the fear. So that, that's all I wanted to say to you today before we really kick off the, the big uh, uh, informational launch of my All About Your Health series. Because first of all, I need to prime you into coming out of fear. Don't buy into fear anymore. Don't let other people make you fearful. Remember something, we all have a unique constitution. 
We all are individuals, even though our biosystems are extremely similar, we all have a separate and different and individualized constitution. And this is something that means one size does not fit all. What affects one person may not affect you at all. What affects you might not affect someone else at all. So stop being in a basket group thinking that because it happened to Bob or Joe or Jane, it's going to happen to you. No, don't buy into that. Don't buy into that at all. And listen, just use your common sense. But look, get your rest. Do that. Sleep soundly. Because no matter what, you could stay up all night. You're not going to change a thing in the middle of the night. We need you to sleep we needed you to eat right, and we needed you to wake up refreshed and ready to rock and roll and take on whatever is thrown your way. And this year in 2022, we've got a lot that's coming our way. So please, everybody, remember, this is not a, a red or blue state thing. This is not a Democrat or Republican thing or independent thing or liberal thing uh, or, or lefty thing or, or, or any of these things. This is about humanity. They, this is about the human species. We've got to save the human species. And to do that, we need to save the democracy of the United States of America. It's that simple. Without that, everything is going to hell. Believe me, and in short order. So listen, everybody, get out of the fear. I fear Russia invading Ukraine more than I fear anything medically coming at me today. I don't know how you feel, but that's how it is. So anyway, listen, I want to thank you for watching this video. Share, comment. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Are you, can you make a commitment to come out of the fear and come out swinging? Don't be a little co a little person in, in a corner sucking your thumb in fear. Forget about that. We have a limited lifespan, no matter who we are. Start enjoying today. Start laughing today. And anybody that wants to rain on your parade, just nix them from your friendship list anywhere in your life because you don't need negativity. You need something positive. And it doesn't matter if the, end, if the world's going to end tomorrow. The big question is, what did you do today? You know, before I die, the only thing I'm concerned with is when I die, as I'm dropping to the floor, I hope that I'm laughing my butt off because I was happy and because I was doing what I wanted to do. And I encourage you to all do what you want to do. Yeah, it's hard, it's difficult, but let's give it a shot this year, okay? Enough, enough of the fear. All right, well, that's what I have to say. Like I said, share, comment, tell me what you think. Uh, give me your two cents, give me your five cents, give me a dollar, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I just felt I had to get this out because if sometimes it seems like I might be talking in a cryptic sense, you're savvy enough to know what the heck I'm talking about. I'm just trying not to get banned or or shut down or whatever it is, because I want to make sure that you get the information that you need so that you can be as healthy as possible. You got it now? All right, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Rick Nappy saying you stay healthy until I see you again and come out of that fear. Bye-bye now.